Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your guide Olena from Kyiv, Ukraine and in this video we're gonna look for the bomb shelter next to my home. The basements of the buildings are suitable for uh, the bomb shelter but it's not really like this because for example my apartment block and the nearest is not suitable for the bomb shelter. Just look at this. So here basements are very small and very shallow so they are not suitable for the bomb shelter this is why we need to find another building the closest to our uh, apartment block that will be suitable for being a bomb shelter so it's such a beautiful day today uh, my two kids are at school in kindergarten and i'm on a walk with my smallest one with darina and we will use this walk, you know, for some kind of investigation. Uh, I want to see where is the nearest advised shelter, bomb shelter for, for me, for my family. Well, first of all, guys, I want to make it clear that we are not afraid, really. Like, we are not in deep panic. We keep calm and stand for Ukraine. We are not, you know, running away anywhere. We are not collecting our bags to, you know, to emigrate somewhere for a couple of months. Even though I'd like to say thank you for Chris uh, from Scotland who kindly invited us for long vacations. Thank you, Chris. It's very kind of you, but I don't think it will be needed. Like we stay here, the situation is for now absolutely normal in Kiev. And like if it gets worse, I think still I will be needed here to help Ukraine to stay independent because I think this is very important. So how do we know where to hide if impossible happens? I will be talking about Kyiv. The local city authorities have created a special map on Google Maps where all the bomb shelters of Kyiv are marked. So when I look at this map, I see that the nearest place to hide is uh, this. Uh, yep, this is a small underground tunnel a simple pedestrian underpass. All the underpasses of Kyiv are the bomb shelters. The deeper and longer it is, the better it is. They say the best one is under the main square of Kyiv, Independence Square or Maidan Nezalezhnosti. They say it can withstand even a nuclear attack. So in case if you are on a walk somewhere in the city center, Maidan will be your nearest place to hide. But we are not right now in the city center. So we are in the north from it, we are in the area called Obolony, so this is what we have. So this shelter for me looks fine, lots of space, lots of fresh air and it doesn't smell bad. And it's the nearest to my house. The second place for my family to hide will be the underground parking of this apartment block. It is a relatively new building, so it has a deep parking and nice territory, but it is private and it is closed. They say it should be opened if bombs fly. Okay, I hope so, and I will keep this location in mind too. So here, as you can see, the doors are closed, and uh, I don't think the doors will be opened in case if the bombs are falling down. Again, I don't think they will be falling down. Yeah, but I think this garage, this underground parking station is not very suitable for us. Okay, I need to calm down my baby now. Chi-chi-chi, Darina. Putin is not invading yet. It's fine. It's safe. It's safe. It's okay, darling. Don't be afraid, honey. Mommy will protect you. Okay, so she's back sleeping and we... Not really. <laughs> Honestly, I simply cannot imagine ourselves, our big family with three children, running from home to the bomb shelter. Like, good morning, darling, the war has started, let's run into the bomb shelter. No, honey, you cannot take your Barbie house with you. No terrace, there will be no food, no toilet, just hopefully a bucket behind the curtain. At least this is what they promise. This sounds so surreal and stupid that I just can't take it seriously, guys. So my feelings about what is going to happen uh, are a little bit uncertain. From one side, 
uh, I don't feel the real danger. I don't see and feel any panic. No, I am very calm. Uh, at the same time, no, I want to be ready, just in case. Because, uh, yes, I cannot believe that any bombs will be falling from this blue sky here on this peaceful country. But at the same time, people from Donetsk who became refugees after Russia invaded, till today they cannot believe that bombs were really falling on their neighborhoods in the region of Donbass. Till today, they think it's unbelievable and it's hard to believe that basically, but it happened, you know? Eight years ago, Russia invaded Ukraine, occupied Crimea, occupied the eastern part of our country, Donbass, saying they are kind of protecting uh, Ukrainian population, but many thousands of Ukrainians were killed, many thousands became refugees, and this was real. Even though it feels surreal till today. So here is another building which is marked on my map as a building where there is a good uh, basement for the shelter. So this building is, has another construction than mine. This is newer. This is why it is more suitable to be the bomb shelter, I think. So here the basement should be deeper. Okay, so where is it? <laughs> That's the question. So I can see that in this building and in the previous one there is like a concierge sitting on the first floor. So, uh, and maybe this is, ah, okay, so here we have the sign. This sign means this one. It says Ukrytia, which means a shelter. And it points in this direction. So let's walk around and see what do we have in this direction. So here we have the playground for children. Sometimes we come here with my kids. Uh -huh, here we are. So this is, and it's written over there, shelter, the telephone number and the, and the shelter itself. But it is locked. There is a big lock on the doors. Uh, they say that uh, shelters will be opened in case if the bombs, you know, if it starts and that uh, the keys belong to some admin local, um, how to say, uh, to the local services that take care of the territory around the buildings that are responsible for maintenance of these buildings and the maintenance of these bomb shelters. So let's try and call them. Let's see what they gonna answer. But I don't see the number very well. Uh, and uh, the same the same numbers they are uh, online on the website so I will take a look what telephone number we have there and I will try to call them and ask uh, Будинок на Герої Дніпра 42, здається. Зараз скажу вам точно. Це наш найближче, найближче наше бомбосховище. Да, Герої Дніпра 42. І цей телефон на сайті вказаний як контактний, що у вас є ключі. Скажіть, будь ласка, чи є можливість подивитися, що там у нас в бомбосховищі, чи щоб ви розказали, що там є, до чого бути готовими? Ні, ми ключі не надаємо. А подивитися, як воно виглядає, чи інформацію якось надати? Ну, і подивитися теж, ну, я не володію такою інформацією, не можу вам сказати. Ми в режимі розкриваємо. So I asked some of the local people, do they know where is the shelter? And they do not know. It, it feels like I'm the only one who checked it on the map. Well, at least now I know where uh, where is the magical door, but the guy said, I don't think it will be needed. Me too. 
I do not think that it will be needed but just in case so here it is So it's really the small door here and it is locked. <laughs> yeah, well at least I know where it is situated here. I don't want to go there. Well, maybe in case of uh, real danger, I will not mind it, but it's also really bad. <laughs> so this is double locked. Uh, the smell is because there is high humidity. Maybe sometimes it is used as a toilet. And uh, yeah, maybe sometimes it's, it, 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 the smell is like this. And here is for food of the wild cats that always live in this neighborhood. There are many cats, uh, like this one. People take care of them. She feels I have no food for her. Well, this uh, is double locked too. Повічте, а ви не знаєте, це у вас один підвал тут в будинку? Не Він у нас на карті як бомбосховище просто позначений. Ну, написано укриття. А, написано укриття, ну так, да, точно. Like they are like not worried at all. Here. It's written shelter and the telephone number, but you cannot really read what is the number. So there is someone who is responsible for this shelter. Well, I hope this person will be really responsible person. Well, anyway, right now I know where we have seven shelters around my building in my neighborhood, like in five minutes of a walk. Uh, so I feel more relaxed because I know where to run just in case but honestly I'm psychologically ready for the situation when the bomb shelters are closed and the keys are absent or it smells that bad that you cannot stay over there or uh, it is overloaded loaded with some uh, extra things that you cannot even enter or there is not enough of space or it is used uh, as a somebody's private garage so I am kind of uh, ready for the situation, but I hope that this time, you know, because there is so much of media attention, uh, uh, the people who are responsible for the bomb shelters, thanks to the many reports of journalists and uh, video vloggers, that they will prepare these bomb shelters at least uh, a little bit. And we will be more prepared for the possible in new invasion, deeper invasion of Russia than before. Because basically we are living in this kind of situation uh, the, the last eight years. So it, it started in 2014 when Russian troops invaded, saying it's, it's not us, it's not me, some green people uh, without uh, uniform of the Russia with the Russian flag. But later it turned out they are Russians. Yeah, so now at least we will be more prepared with this help thanks to this huge media attention. Yeah, because we, we will always have a common border with a, a stupid uh, neighbor. Well, un until uh, Russian people decide that they want to change their authorities and legally vote for somebody else. Or they will do like we sometimes do in Ukraine. We protest if we don't like our authorities. And we force them to leave instead of them. Other idiots are coming then we protest against the other idiots so it's like a squirrel in the wheel sometimes this is how it feels but at least we try at least we try we never had uh, one uh, king for 20 years and more in power yeah so at least we try different idiots different variants like this 
So the situation is uh, pretty okay right now and I don't think that these bomb shelters will be needed so I'm doing it uh, just in case because I think it's better to hope for the better but get ready for the worst you know and this is what I always do in my life maybe this is what many Ukrainians do yeah just in case it's better to be prepared